We're, we're making a fire pit. What are we making? A fire pit. You excited? Yeah. What's going on fellow fixers? Welcome to I Am A Fixer. I'm Jeremy and this is the channel where I help you fix and maintain your home so you can teach tomorrow's generation and help others around you. Today's video is actually going to be probably the first video in a series and here's what we're doing. That's an old fire pit and it's made out of some paver bricks that were given to me. And if you look over here, I have a whole stack of them. So we're actually gonna be taking this old fire pit that I just sort of threw together and we're gonna be putting an actual paver foundation down and putting a fire pit in the middle. If you notice, I don't know if you can, I'm gonna to try to get down here low. You have to put a crushed foundation, then some sand, and pack it all in uh, so that you have room for your pavers to go in and they have a solid foundation. And in order to do that, we've got to remove this top layer of dirt, probably about seven or eight inches of it, and get everything graded and fairly level. We're gonna have a little bit of a pitch on it going that way, just so the water will uh, wash off and we won't have standing water. That being said, we're gonna get to it and I've got to put these stakes in and get everything laid out and graded where I want it to be and then we'll be able to start digging. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about what I'm doing here. So the pad is gonna be 14 by 14 uh, square pad minus the whatever the uh, fire pit's gonna be in the middle, about 42 inches in diameter. Stake there in the ground by that yellow bucket and then there's a stake here. And if you can tell the difference there's about a six inch drop from the top to where it is right here, which means that in order for this to be level, we're basically gonna not have to dig out much down here. We're gonna have to dig out six inches or so up top, and then even more than that, probably a foot or more on that side. So we'll end up digging that top part out and bringing it back here to grade this so that it will be relatively flat all the way up into that pad. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna get the rough dimensions of where the pad's gonna be, but in order to square it, I'm gonna have to make sure that the diagonals are equal. All right, if you see the setup, here's the main corner I started with, which comes down to here. And if you look at this, there's a little bit of a pitch down. Wow! That's a small, that's a wild walk. Come on, that, come on, that's a lot of walk. Yeah! How we get so many walk? So you can see up here at the front, that string is basically right by the ground. But if you go on this back corner, because the ground slopes down, that string is about six inches from the ground. So basically the height of the string is gonna be the height of our pavers. So we've gotta dig out the ground on this side basically, and we'll have to dig out less and less as we get down towards the other end and what I'm doing is I'm putting the extra dirt around the outside because I'm going to I'm going to grade the ground from the string out so that when I go to mow it's not a big wall that I run up to. I had a tree here it was actually a giant one two summers ago we had a hurricane here in Florida it knocked this tree over and it was probably a two foot in diameter tree and we just took a stump grinder to it ground it down but there are absolutely a ton of roots all through this and so it has taken a while to dig out all of this in fact i've got one more i think it might be the last big root to get out of here so i'm going to get back to axon and try to grind it out of there Alright, so 
So after a lot of digging and a lot of pulling out roots, look at all that. I finally have this hole dug out. Let me show you. So the biggest thing now is to get this relatively flat. And obviously I told you before, there's a slight pitch down uh, that direction just so that the water doesn't sit and it sort of runs off. And so what I've done was I've used these galvanized poles and I put obviously one here and one over there. Then I took this really long straight piece of aluminum and put a level on it. And essentially all I did was just draw it back this way on top of those two galvanized posts. And you can see here that it levels that ground between the two posts and ends up pulling the extra dirt out. So I've got a little bit of spot right here. I need to throw some dirt back on that and draw over it. And then I'm gonna end up moving this post over to here and do the same thing with this side. And then I'll do this part down here. So obviously this doesn't have to be perfectly level. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get it fairly level. So I'm leveling up the front of these two galvanized poles to make sure that they're level. And then where this, these poles end, I'm leveling those up between the ends to make sure they're level. That way I know that I have a little bit of pitch and that it's level all the way down. In the end, we're going to put some of that crushed shell on top of it, make it level, and then pack it all down. And then we're going to have sand on top of that. So four inches of shell and then sand. And then that'll be our foundation that we're going to use to put all the pavers on. Make sure it's a good solid foundation so we won't have any bricks that twist and move over time. So right now I can tell um, these two poles are level between them. I'm perfectly level here. But I've got some low spots here and a couple low spots there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a little bit of dirt. Uh, right in this area and I can tell right now that this is high right here so I'm gonna go ahead and and push some of these high spots over into these low spots now I'm just gonna go ahead and and drag between the two and I got some more low spots here so I'll throw some dirt up in this area and again, you're just dragging to make sure that everything is level. I'm going to need quite a bit of dirt, so I'm going to shovel some in. Not even into the Florida summer yet about midway into May and it's 90 degrees out I can already tell that it's gonna be a hot oh, hot summer in the next video we're gonna put in shell we're gonna compact it we're gonna put sand in compact that and then we're gonna actually lay all the pavers if you haven't already seen that video go check it out and as always get out there and fix something I'll see you on the next one